show y'all got Boudreaux up in the kitchen. About to show y'all a little bit of Cajun coon ass cooking, cause uh, this is how we gonna do it. We gonna throw down, got my little lucky short bus, ninja skill bandana on, you know. That's how we do it down in Louisiana. Gotta have that little Louisiana animal status. Can't keep calm cause I'm a Boudreaux, baby. That's how it goes. Well, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna take a little bit of deer shoulder, you know, season it up a little bit. I got my onions, turnip, garlic, jalapenos, bell peppers, corn, asparagus. So, got the black pot. You ain't cooking real Cajun food if you don't have a black pot. Just letting you know. And if you ain't burning, you ain't earning no type of gravy, baby. So, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to show y'all how to throw it down in this kitchen tonight. Cook it right. And let your taste buds get excited. So, first of all. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to chop up all my little onions, garlic, jalapenos and all this and uh, get the show on the road, baby. Alright, right, y'all, look. Check this out. Got the bell peppers, the onions, garlic, turnip, jalapenos. Got them all ch chopped up. I got the corn sitting on the stove with the butter. Got me some chopped up potatoes, about to throw some salt with some water, ball it for a little bit, make some homemade mashed potatoes. And then I got my deer shoulder right here. We about to slap a little seasoning on it. Got the sweet tea. Have to have sweet tea if you're going to have some Cajun cooking. I mean, I don't know about y'all non-sweet tea drinkers, but y'all this is something sweet. Well, check this out. Got the rice brewing. I forgot to click it on, y'all. Well, uh, about to throw the asparagus. Up in a pan or some aluminum foil, grease it up a little bit. So, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to take some vegetable oil. Olive oil works pretty good with vegetable oil. Want to sit there, pour it a little bit, about a tad to where it sits at the bottom of the pot. Make sure you you get it all around. If you don't think you got enough, you mean you can still add a little bit more, but uh. This uh, this dead shoulder, you can sit here, throw, take you some uh, some of the sash, with some Worcestershire, gotta love that Worcestershire man, sprinkle some Worcestershire sauce on it, let that sit for a little bit, then you grab you some toner, you sprinkle that on there, You let that you let that sit for a little bit just like that. But you want to turn you want to turn your little pot on high. That's for the corn. This is for my black pot. When you get it on high, you want to get your grease burning up to a good certain type of thing. Then you grab you some sugar. You want to get you about a, a a spoonful of sugar like a normal little spoon. When your grease gets hot like that. You gonna grab you a spoonful of sugar, I'm gonna dump it in there. You stir it around. You wait for it to get a little brown. Once it starts getting brown, then you wanna grab your dinner shoulder with your seasoning on it. Sit there, dump it in the pot. You brown it. You brown it. You brown it. You brown it. You brown it real good. You brown it real good. Then uh, after that, you are gonna see how it goes down in the kitchen. You know this is Boudreaux's Cajun coon ass cooking. I don't know what else to, uh, to tell y'all, but we're about to have them Crescent Rose placed in once the meal's almost done. I'm telling you. Uh. You grab your, uh, your spoonful of sugar, you want to put it right in the pot, you know? You get it going, you get it, you want to stir it up in there real good, man. You make, you make that, that gravy sweet. Just like that. You let that sugar turn brown. Wow. Come on. So you get that sugar turning brown in that grease. That's when you know you got something going on in the kitchen, man. <laughs> For real, take Boudreaux's advice. He know what he got going on. And plus, 
Plus for another little side thing, we're gonna throw some sweet peas up in there. Once you get that sugar, sugar turning brown like that, you wanna take your dear shoulder and you slap that bad boy up in there. Just like that. Woo! You wanna sit there and brown your meat. You brown it, you brown it, you brown it. It's gonna look real good, y'all. Ay, 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 tikrat. Ho, ho. What? Don't know about that, bro. That's how you get it done. Make sure. Make sure you keep getting it. Let that meat brown, man. Let that meat brown. All that. That, uh, that vegetable oil with that sugar and that meat with the toners, whenever it browns like that, man, it, make, it makes a real good phenomenal taste. And that's not even without adding the bell peppers or onions yet. And I mean, phew! Once you get, once you get your meat browning, you set it good. And it's, it's gonna get down there. If you look real good, you could already see that gravy. Look. That ain't gravy turning brown like that. Yo! I'm gonna show you how it's done. Right. That gravy, you get that gravy looking brown, 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 brown. And it's good. All your meat's brown. Wanna take, wanna take your uh, diced up onions? I wanna toss them over there like that. Boom. Oh. You get that all mixed up in there? Then you're gonna take. Dice the bell peppers. Toss it in there like that. Me, I don't like to take measurements. I don't like to do nothing. I just go with my little natural coon ass instincts. I just put whatever. And it always seemed to work for me, but people it's different strokes for different folks. That's all I can say. Then I got my garlic. Garlic. I like to throw my garlics up in there. Give it a little taste. And just to let y'all know out there, the reason why I throw sugar inside my grease before I add my meat to brown it, it kind of tenderizes the meat, so it makes the meat phenomenal, is what it is. A lot of people think, oh, it could make my gravy sweeter, you know. Yeah, it does that a little bit, but really tenderizes the meat. I see, you know, kind of have a little rock and roll with it. I like to take a little bit of turn up. Everybody got to turn up, especially when you're on 40 down south, cooking with the taste buds jumping out your mouth. I don't know how to do that, you know. I like to throw a little bit of jalapenos in there, just to throw it. Fresh jalapenos diced up, about a one and only. Wild, loud, boudreaux, baby. So, that's how we going to do it, but tell y'all this, I'm going to grab this asparagus right here. This asparagus. I like to take you some aluminum foil. You want to take your asparagus and cut your tips. When you get it, you take your tips, slice them off. One maybe about an inch, half an inch. You take them and you place them. Kind of want to build you a little boat. Because what you want to do, olive oil works pretty good with black pepper and butter. And you take that, you put it all in there. You want to set your oven to about 425. And you want to ball it up. Close it up like you were trying to smother something with aluminum foil. You set that in the oven and you let your asparagus cook. And all the juices and stuff, it gets to rolling and out of control. See? But to tell y'all more of the story, this food is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> That's how y'all catch that Boudreaux's coon ass Cajun cook in the wild lifestyle, partner. All right, you want to take some vegetable oil? You kind of want to sprinkle it on your asparagus like that. Make sure you get it all caught up. Then you can take some lemon pepper. I prefer lemon pepper. I like, I like a little bit of lemon taste to my stuff. Sprinkle a lemon pepper on that. Shoo! Sprinkle some lemon pepper on that, that asparagus. 
You want to mix it all up. Make sure it gets all over that. Just like that. I was going to wrap it up in aluminum foil, but uh, I didn't have enough aluminum foil to wrap on my asparagus, so I'm just going to throw it in a little pan. And another thing y'all like to do, I like to do, throw a little bit of butter in here. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't stutter when I come to use that butter. Promise you that, partner. But I got my, uh, my little gravy right here. My dear shoulder. Bottom. Oh. Gotta let that cook. Let that cook down. Let that cook down. But got the dick, got the uh dear shoulder, corn, homemade mashed potatoes almost done, sweet peas, and this right here, bruh. That's asparagus. That asparagus, that's where it's at. All day, every day. You, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with it. You basically can't. No, you can't. Right. So, that's how we're going to do it. So, we're going to sit here. We're going to let that cook down a little bit. Try to throw a little lid over it. Let it sit. I'm going to end up wrapping this up with a little rest of the little aluminum fall I got. Slap that in the oven. Let it cook. Let it get down for a little bit. Other than that, start prepping my crescent rolls. So whenever I slide the asparagus out, I throw my crescent rolls up in there. Rice is done. Woo! It looks like I'm going to be sleeping good at night. Man. Do whatever you make your mashed potatoes like that. Your homemade mashed potatoes. Me, I like to put a little bit of milk. You stir it up. Just like that. Mash them up. Mash them up. Then you want to grab you some black pepper. You sprinkle a little bit of black pepper all up. This is a cheap salt and pepper shake because they have at restaurants. Man, I'm tired of taking them thing. You want to sprinkle some black pepper up on there? You grab some butter. Woo! And then you stir it bad boy. You mash. Man. See, this is what you call Boudreaux in the kitchen mashing for his dreams. I love it. I like to chase my dreams, follow my dreams. I'm mashing my dreams. So, I'm telling you, this is going to be real good, yo. Real good. And you got that. I'm homemade mashed potatoes, bottom. Do that. Oh, look, just pulled the asparagus out of the oven, which is amazing. I mean, look at that. Show partner. Wow. And then, once all said and done. You got that Boudreaux's Cajun coon ass cooking. And partner, this is a one of a kind, stuck in Boudreaux's prime. You can't mess it up. I'm saying you can't beat that with a stick. So how y'all love it? Nice meeting with y'all. Y'all stay tuned for Boudreaux's next cooking show on the go, baby. <laughs>